everyone welcome back to another video my name is Courtney if you don't know me already and I'm from New Zealand so I had a few recommendations for this recently so thank you everyone who recommended me to this so we actually got a glimpse of this I believe in the India billionaires video that we did recently it's the most expensive house in the world for two billion dollars so we had a little bit of a sneak peek in the video i will link it up here if you want to go watch it's very interesting um a life that i feel like we have no idea about okay so let's get into it let me know what you guys think down below and if you've got anything to add definitely feel free to leave a comment for me and for other people reading the comments um so without any further ado let's get into the video oh but before we do definitely give this video a thumbs up if you do like it and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more videos and let's get into to it. Oh, look at those hedges. The most expensive home on the planet. In the inner city of Mumbai, India, not far from the poverty stricken slums, mm. on the renowned Altamont Road, stands Antilia, the most expensive home ever created. Mate, what is this that? home ascends 27 stories. Stretching 568 like, feet high, it looks like it's gonna granting fall over. the massive structure with prime views Wait, of the Arabian right Sea. There? In technical terms, the home is the second most expensive residential property in the world, considering oh, Buckingham second. Palace is worth around five oh, billion U.S. So dollars. However, Buckingham Palace is considered a crown property, right. whereas Antilia is a private residence, right. and the most expensive private residential property at that with some pricing estimates as high as $2 billion. Even still, any list in which a residence is preceded by Buckingham Palace pretty much guarantees that place is going to be over-the-top luxurious and is likely a house I'd love to move into. In this video, That's I'll take you on a virtual crazy. informative tour of this ostentatious estate while engaging all of two of your senses. In this massive home, there are several ceilings that are double or triple heighted, so the 27-floored skyscraper looks more like a 50 or 60-floored building. Can you imagine only being as tall as an ordinary 27-floor building? What are you doing there? <laughs> Laughable. What are you doing with all this On space? some of the lower floors, there is a multi-level car lot that can hold 168 vehicles, <gasps> including Mukesh's precious RS5 Craw Maybach, a car oh for very important people. Somewhere in that car lot is also a car service station. But if cars aren't your style, don't worry. Uh, the home also has three helipads placed on the roof. Three. Few not things one, say billionaire two. like more than three. one helipad on the roof. Wow. Both the private car lot and helipads oh, are violations is. of residential bylaws in Mumbai, but wow. from what we can tell, no one has forced the billionaire's hand to make any changes. Above the car lot, you'll find an extravagant lobby composed of nine elevators. Further up is a two-story recreation crazy. center with a lap pool, a gym, a juice bar, a dance studio, and a yoga studio. Floors like these are how Jeff Bezos transformed his I Sell Books body to his I Sell What I Want physique. As you continue to ascend, you will eventually run into a spa and a ballroom. The ballroom is adorned with multiple crystal wow. chandeliers that cover 80% of the ceiling, leaving a shameful 20% exposed and unadorned. To capitalize on the entertainment focus areas of the home, there is a movie theater that sits 50 viewers. There are multiple balconies and terraces with this luscious gardens insane. hanging over the sleek this facade is, along the home. The vegetation attached to the sides of the building are meant to absorb sunlight in order to keep the interior as cool as possible. Oh, smart, Hopefully that touch <laughs> really can put smart. a dent in what must be a monstrous electricity I want to spoil every single As if all like this luxury water. wasn't enough of an escape from the hot, busy streets of Mumbai. Wow. The home comes fitted with an ice room equipped with a snow generator. You meant to mimic a winter wonderland, joking. a creative addition rivaled only by the likes of Willy Wonka. The immaculate structure was designed by architects Perkins and Will out of Chicago, and the interior design was overseen by an Australian company called Light and Holdings. Wow. While the 400,000 square foot building is home to just six, it's also meant six. to make room for a staff of 600 cooks. Oh cleaners, and security personnel. So that makes the size of the mansion less excessive, so right? Like I double-checked that stat, by the way, and I can confirm. A hundred staff per family member. 
The building is named after a legendary island, also called the Isle of the Seven Cities. The tale of this island originates from an old Liberian legend in which bishops fleeing from the Muslim conquest of Hispania escaped to an island and created seven settlements there. There's not much else on that fun fact, and no one seems to know why the owners of the home took to that fabled island, but that's the thing with being a billionaire. No one questions your decisions. Considering the unique shape of the skyscraper and the fact that its yeah. construction cost not six, not seven, not eight, but ten figures, it'd be a fair assumption to presume the design of the home is symbolic, or at least, you know, on purpose. And that assumption yeah. would be correct. <laughs> this incredible structure was meticulously crafted with Hindi influence and generously laced with religious symbolism. Within the 27 stories, there are six sections of the home that are meant to reflect earth, oh, water, wow. fire, air, so sound, and light. These elements so were placed from bottom to top wow. as to mimic not Nickelodeon's avatar, The Last Airbender, <laughs> but the ascension to enlightenment. Oh, Throughout wow, the mansion, there are two clever. reoccurring motifs, the sun and the lotus. These symbols are meant to represent rebirth. The materials used to stand for these themes include marble, crystal, and none other than Mother of Pearl. There is a temple in the home in which the family of six goes to pray regularly. There are many statues of Hindu insane. deities throughout the home, including the Hindu god Ganesh, revered here? as the remover of obstacles, and Shiva, I mean, the Hindu seriously? deity who destroys to make way for new creation. Along with religious That's themes so and the motifs of lotus and sun, the house is said to have been inspired by the Atlantic Ocean. The owner of the $2 billion home is Mukesh Ambani, a petroleum titan chairman of Reliance Industries and, surprise surprise, the richest man in India. Mukesh is responsible for a fifth of India's exports, which is absolutely outrageous considering yeah. India makes up for a third of the Earth's population. Mukesh's father created a business that turned into the world's biggest producer of polyester fibers and yarns. Mukesh multiplied his inheritance many times over to become one of the richest men in all of Asia. For years, Mukesh was a member of the top 10 richest people in the world. And during one surge in India's stock market in 2007, he was believed to be the richest man on the planet. But as of recently, he sits comfortably at the 20th spot. Mukesh is worth 40.1 billion US dollars and is 61 years old. Did someone ask for a list of the richest people on the planet? Though, right? Okay, here it is. Number one, Jeff Bezos, Amazon. Number two, Bill Gates, Microsoft. This Number video three, from Warren Buffett, Berkshire mind. Hathaway. Number four, Bernard Arnault, Louis Vuitton. Number five, Amancia Ortega, Zara. Number six, Carlos Slim Hello and Family. Number seven, Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook. Number eight, Larry Ellison, Oracle. Number nine, Larry Page, it's Alphabet, co-founder of like Google. Number 10, Charles Koch, Koch Industries. Number 11, David Koch, you guessed it, Koch Industries. Mm -hmm. Number 12, Sergey Brin, Google. Number 13, Michael Bloomberg, Bloomberg. Number 14, Ma Huateng, Tencent Holdings. Number 15, Jim Walton, Looks Walmart. Like Walmart yeah. Number 16, Rob Walton, Walmart. Number 17, Alice Walton, Walmart. Walmart. Number 18, wow. Steve Ballmer, Microsoft. Number 19, Francois Betancourt Myers and family, L'Oreal. Number 20, and our guy, Mukesh <laughs> Ambani. Ah, we just love lists here at Mr. Luxury. As you might have noticed from the list, Mukesh is one of only two individuals from Asia to earn a spot on the list. Mumbai is the commercial capital of India and is also called the city that never sleeps because I guess they didn't know that slogan was already taken. This city is also home to the entertainment industry in India, so it's commonly known as Bollywood, yet another mm. thing they ripped from the United States. While the city is home to the world's most expensive house, it's unfortunately also home to the world's largest slum. The popular film mm. Slumdog Millionaire was set in Mumbai. Mm. The public reception of the house's creation has been harsh at best. 
I believe offending neighbors comes standard oh. when you're creating a home worth over a billion dollars. Yeah, but crazy. there is certainly warrant for any offense taken in this particular case, I must admit. While the house was built on the richest stripe of land in the city, it's hard to not notice the contrast in a city like Mumbai, with such depths of poverty just blocks away. Gion Prakash told the New York Times in 2010 that the home is in a way reflective of how the rich are turning their faces away from the city. In Mumbai, 40% of children under the age of 5 are underweight. The gap between the rich and the poor is as stark and vast here as any other place in the world. Still, there are some that bring up the charitable acts of the Ambani family, which include the creation of a hospital. When right. discussing the moral responsibilities of the family, not to mention numbers of the philanthropic ventures, specifically by Nita Ambani, Mukesh's wife. Which wow, is great and all, but no one is going to ignore the gargantuan mansion towering over the insane. city, or any of Mukesh's indulgences <sighs> other than the mansion. Years before the creation of Antilia, Mukesh bought his wife an air bus for her birthday for $60 million. He had the passenger jumbo jet refitted with Jeez a living room, a bedroom, satellite TV, a sky bar, and a spa. This is just crazy, you guys. Unlike most families worth billions, the Ambani family owns just the one home as opposed to the expected several around the globe. <laughs> just the one. Initially, the just family the shared a house with Mukesh's mother and brothers. But after Mukesh's father passed away of a stroke, he decided oh, to break the bank on the 400,000 square foot home. The children of Mukesh and Nita all studied at universities in the States. Isha, the eldest daughter, recently graduated from Yale. Her twin brother, Akash, and younger brother, Arnat, both graduated from Brown University. Not that I'm in any position to judge Mukesh as a father, but it's nice to see he raised three Ivy Leaguers. That's pretty much all I've got on Antilia and the Ambani family. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. A house with 600 live-in employees. Can you imagine the electricity bill? Like, it's one thing to buy the structure or build the structure, but actually the upkeep every single month every single year i don't even want to imagine it's actually just crazy to me to i i literally can't fathom having that much money you know like spending all that money making sure that it's funded every single month but then on top of that doing other crazy stuff like buying an airbus and kitting it out with this fancy looking interior <laughs> it's like what how like, I actually just can't wrap my head around having that much money. Um, but it's definitely, yeah, it's an interesting topic about, you know, the, the, the uber rich and people who live in poverty. That's definitely a good point. Um, but at least, I guess, in this situation, he is employing 600 people at least in the building. So, yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that. That's just crazy, you guys. Is this real life? Like, this doesn't feel real. How? I cannot imagine. I really can't. I really can't. Crazy. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have seen the building before. I'd love to see it in person one day. Um, is it worth going to look? A lot of these videos that I watch, I, I would love to see it in real life. Um, things like this, because it's just kind of... It's one thing to see it on a video, but it's kind of a whole other thing to go see it in real life and um, kind of just just look at it and kind of take it in and take in the, the environment. So let me know if you've seen this building before. Um, maybe it's a common thing to see. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below as well. Leave any thoughts, comments as well down below um for me and for other people who are reading the comments give this video a thumbs up if you did like it i personally love the video that we watched today it was very interesting but yeah thank you guys so much for watching with me today subscribe if you haven't already to watch new videos from me and hit the notification bell if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.